YouTube, what's happening? We back again with another episode of the Full Strength. Uh, on the Full Strength, we discuss uh, Jordans and maybe a, a Nike occasionally. And we ask the number one question, is it worth your hard-earned money or the Full Strength? In many occasions, these shoes are $180, upwards of 240 and with these 17s coming out, I just recently read, they're going to try to hit you for 300 the full strength. Now, Nike, I believe, with trying to release these 17s at $300 with the briefcase, they are testing the threshold at which people are going to spend money. Now, I do think that Nike is trying to figure out what's that sweet spot to eliminate resale but also allow them to get more profits now again you might not like that i i can i can rant about how i feel about that but the game is 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 such the way that it is so i do think that resellers are probably going to try to buy up all of them 17s but honestly that's not going to be a bread 11 situation or a space jam 11 or a concord 11 where People are going to be like, I got to have it. Because even when I was in high school, when the 17s came out and you could walk in the store and get them. The, the 17, the 15s was like that. Really, the 14s, the 15s, 16s, 17s, the 18s, they was like that. I remember getting the 18s because I had the black and blues. I had the blue and whites. Well, I'm sorry, the white and blues and the white and reds. I had all three pairs of the 18s and I know I got two of them for a fact. I know I got them at the Nike outlet for like $50 a piece. I know that for a fact. So I don't see the 17s getting that kind of demand. Now, this video, we're going to be talking about the recap of 2023. And we're not going to do no in-depth analysis of the shoes. We're just going to look at what came out, uh, mainly what I have in my possession. We're going to talk about, are they worth paying resale? And I'm breaking it into two categories. We're going to have the OG category, which would be original colors from the 80s and 90s before they started doing retros. And we're going to have the non-OG category. Now, I'm going to go ahead and say that most of everything in the non-OG category is not going to be worth paying resale for. Let's, go, let's just go ahead and get that out the way. Um, in some cases, if you can get them at retail, yeah, they're worth the full strength. But... When you're talking about resale, we're going to go ahead and just say no. They're not worth that. And real briefly, before we get into some of these shoes, the resale game ain't going to end until the consumers, the sneakerheads, yourself, myself, we collectively, you know, again, save for a few circumstances, just refuse to pay resale. Now, again, I think the resale game is dying, but you still have you know, probably 30% of what it was five, six years ago. Now, again, I think that still is credit to Nike doing a better job of giving you more opportunities. Now, I do think some of the, th some of the things you got to keep in mind when we're talking about the game going forward, you got to have these several Ps. We got these several Ps. Patience, persistence, you understand? Practicality, prudence, you feel me? Perseverance. Now, those five Ps, that don't even have nothing really to do with just with buying shoes that that applies to life you feel me because when you are down and dirty you ten toes down and you own your peas you get to that main p the supreme p which is perfection you feel me and perfection is not something that you obtain it's something that you strive for you don't know what i'm talking about go listen to that only bill for cuban links raekwon the chef classic album by the way so when you're talking about this patience persistence Part of the reason that you shouldn't be paying resale is because Nike's going to give you more chances now. So if your patience is where it needs to be, if your persistence is where it needs to be, if your notification game is elite, you're going to be able to catch the shock drop, the main drop, the restock, a couple of restocks. You, you, you should be able to. And if you don't, sometimes you got to just take your losses and move on and look at it as money, you know, saved. Because sometimes you got to lose gracefully. You can't win them all. Now. That was a five minute rant. Really wasn't trying to rant that long. Let's get right into it because I really want to breeze through this. I don't want to make this long. I value your time. You feel me? Again, shout out to everybody that's been tuning in, that's been commenting, that's been liking the videos. Really appreciate y'all. 
You feel me? Y'all are the OGs. You know, really appreciate y'all all day. All right. Now, a couple of these shoes I don't have, but I do want to give some shine to two shoes in particular that I was not able to obtain. The UMC, UNC 5s. I didn't pull the trigger on these, mainly because of this tab on the back. And um, what's going on in there? And I, I really, I really made a mistake doing that. I think these were probably the cleanest or one of the cleanest uh, releases that they that they did the whole year. Like th these was hard. And if you got these, you definitely won. You're doing your thing. Um, the other shoe is the white cement reimagined. I've never had these. I missed these when they came out in 13. I missed them when they came out whenever that other time was. I, I pretty much missed on these every time. But if you have these, congratulations. You 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 really you you killing. This is this is this is a clean shoe. Now again, I can't speak to the quality of either either of these shoes, but just from a desire to own and obtain, would love to have them. But when I look at the resale prices, man, ain't ain't, ain't no way. Your boy ain't your boy ain't running that. All right, so let's go ahead and get into a couple of these shoes. First, Chambray 7s. This is a shoe I had been waiting on because I had them in 06. And I had to sell them because I bought them in a 12. And, you know, 7s run a little small on me. So didn't really get a lot of wear out of them. So when they announced them again, I had to jump on them. I paid retail for them. And real briefly... If you ever encounter what I just mentioned, where you have a shoe that's fitting a little tight, you got to invest in one of these right here. You got your cedar shoe tree. Throw that in the shoe. Actually got a pair of 12s that I'm trying to stretch out right now because they're pinching on the toe. Throw them in there. Push down. Let's see, now this, not, not, don't want to act right. Set it down in there. Let's try it one more time. Sometimes they be a little finicky. There you go. Get it down in there. You let it. You let it uh, stretch out the toe box area. Now it's not going to be something that's going to happen overnight. You're going to have to exercise your peas. One of your peas. Patience. Leave it in there for about nine to twelve months. You pull it out. You're going to have comfort. Now you're not going to get all day comfort if it's pinching like that. But you're probably going to get six to eight hours. Before you start to feel that same pinch. So that's a nice little hack that my, my dad told me about a long time ago. Because it's worked on 11s for me. It's worked on 12s. It's, I mean, it works on loafers. If you got, you know, dress loafers. It works on boots. It works on any shoe you can think of. Um, just to give you a little bit more room. So again, Tran Chambray 7s. Good release. I think they did a, did a solid job with it. And, you know, I was happy with the purchase. But is it worth resale? No, it is not. Take it on to the next one. We talked about this week 13. In the uh, Chambray 7 in the week 13, both of those released while I was in college. This one came out 04, so that would have been my freshman year. I think the Chambrays came out in 06, something like that. Again, clean shoe. It's actually on Nike.com right now, so it will probably eventually go on sale. And I would say that on sale, it is worth the full strength. Yes, it is. So you can catch it at 25% off. Go ahead and pull your trigger on that. Do your thing. Uh, clean shoe. You can find some use for it. Let's take it to the next one. Now, I would say this is probably one of the most underwhelming releases of the year for me, personally. It's the Black Flint 13s. My main problem with these is that I'm really not feeling how Jordan is taking, we'll take, uh, let's use the Thunders, for example. The original Thunder 4s were black and yellow. Then they hit you with the red Thunders. I just saw that they're coming out with some white Thunders or some black Thunder, something like that. It was the same thing with the Flints. You had the blue Flints, um, or really just known as the regular Flints. And then they came out with the red Flints, and then they dropped these. And, you know, eventually they're going to hit us with green Flints and yellow Flints and, you know, Carolina, UNC, Flint's, they're they going to hit you with all of that. Now, some of those will probably end up being hard, but 
you know, it, it, it kind of reminds me of back in the, you know, if y'all was around in the early 2000s, you'll remember there was a site called Omni, Omni Hashitashi or something like that. And they had a lot of the fakes on there, you know, and the fakes had a lot of them off the wall colors that you would want, but they was fake. And it just seems like now Jordan is, is uh, making any color scheme that they can dream up. Yeah, nothing, nothing wrong with options, you feel me? But some of them, some, some of that stuff they dropping, it's just like, yeah, no, y'all y'all could have kept that. You feel me? Now, I would say this, this shoe right here is probably the most disappointing release for me in 2023. I was really looking forward to these. I had these in 07. And uh, we talking about the Burgundy 5s. Now, I actually had to go look back at the pictures of my original Burgundy 5s because I thought the leather was a little different. And when I looked at the photos, it it looked they looked the exact same. So maybe my memory just didn't, you know, when I saw them in, the, in person again, I, I thought it was something different about them. It was the same thing when they when they released the uh, the uh, cool gray threes. They didn't look the same. Um, but, you know, I got this on sale, so I didn't really have to trick off the full strength. Uh, really wasn't happy with the box. I thought the box was was garbage, but you know, whatever. Happy to have them again. Eventually, they'll they'll get some they'll get some wear, but not worthy of paying resale. But again, five five is a good shoe. All right, we got a few more to go through. Let's take it to the. We talked about these. Origin 2s, they are currently available on Nike.com in most sizes. Again, I got these. These reminded me of some Gucci some Gucci high tops. I'm going to bust these out in the summer. I think it's a good, clean summer shoe. Really was feeling it. So, again, you can catch it on sale. I caught it on sale. They refunded me the difference. They won 75 but you can get 25% off of that. And at 25% off of that, do your thing. They definitely are worth that. All right. We got a few more in the non OG category. We already talked about these. Gratitude 11s. Hopefully, you was able to come up on a little something. You feel me? They've had at least four restocks that I've counted, but we've talked about them. They clean. They are worthy of the full strength, 110%. Now, I will say that if you're considering paying resale, I wouldn't even think about that until February because you're probably going to get a couple more opportunities as far as restocks are concerned. I really do believe that. Now, I don't have no insider knowledge, but it's just kind of the way that they've been that they've been doing things. So, if you wasn't able to hit, don't break down yet. Keep your P's. Keep your several P's. Keep your patience. Keep your persistence. And eventually, it should come through for you. Okay. Second to last, the OG category. Oh, I'm sorry, non-OG category. We got the UNC ones. Now, I went ahead and tricked off on these, uh, full strength retail, that is, because I missed out on them UNC 5s. Again, this is a clean shoe. You know, if you own ones, you know how the ones feel. You know how they wear. Um, I think these are 12 and a half. Um, you know, clean. Nothing, nothing really to talk about. You know, they high, so definitely a plus. But are they worth paying resale? For me, the answer is no. In hand, I, I, I wouldn't pay I wouldn't pay a dollar over what the retail is. That's just me. You feel me? They clean. I mean, looking at them through the viewfinder, they clean. But they not 250 clean. They not 350 clean. You understand? Not for me. So resale on that going to be a no-go. Take your loss if you wasn't able to hit. And just, you know, move on or just be, you know, they might you might get lucky. They may hit you with another restock. But I, I, can't, I can't give it the resale stamp of approval because... That is only certain circumstances. Last but not least, we got the Palomino Ones. I'm trying to breeze through this. I have been wearing these pretty much every day since I got them. 
really like the color blocking on here. The color scheme uh, goes well with black. I've been wearing a lot of black and I've been wearing a lot of tan. You feel me? So just a nice, I can slip it on. I got the black jeans on. Got the black hoodie. Bam. We out the door. Uh, is it worth resale? No. It's not. It's not. I was, you know, I was able to hit on retail. I actually had to have my partner in Memphis, you feel me, join the raffle for me. And he just shipped them up here to me. But, yeah, clean shoe. Not worth no resale, though. Keep your peas strong. Okay. That does it for the non-OGs. Again, most of that list, none of it is worth resale. If, I, if, if you were gonna, if you were gonna pay resale out of that, you know, list there. Gratitude 11s, but not for another couple of months, if you was thinking about it. And then maybe those Palomino ones or those UNCs. Now, UNC 5s, you know, there's some that I don't have that, you know, that came out this year that I could say maybe, but again, if it's non OG, they got to be super clean for me to even consider it. Which is a good segue. To go to the non-OG category, we don't have as many to go through. And then we're going to wrap this thing up. So let's just go in order. And let's start with a shoe that I was waiting on sneakers to have. They never released on sneakers. Never came out. So I had to go. First, I tried to go to Union, L.A., they had them on there, but they was 150 and I was like, they can't be the right price. That must be the, the kids' sizes. And when I emailed support, they was like, no, nah, them is men's. But then when I went to finally buy them, the 13 was gone. So I had to hop on Flight Club, and I was able to get them for, I think, just the 150 But, you know, with the verification and the shipping, it was a little bit more. But, you know, $15 tax. I was like, whatever, I got to have them. You know, I put these in the OG category because Jordan wore these, I think, in an exhibition game. But when I'm near John Wooden or Dean Smith, I get a little excited because they certainly are great teachers. Oh! What a play. Wave it off. Should be an offensive foul. They should have waved it off on him. No guts to wave that off. Come on, Yui. Come on, Yui. I like Yui Hollins, too. But watch this right here, Keith. You be the judge at home. Did he push you off a little bit? Watch right here now with the free hand. Oh, no, no, no. I'll take that back. So, to me, they fall into that OG category. Again, clean summer shoe. Can't wait to bust this out in the summer. You know, and maybe they might get to hooping status. We'll see. Not real sure. But clean shoe, UNC2. Is it worth resale? No, I can't say that. You got to stay as close to 150 as you can. All right. Let's take it to playoff, playoff eights. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. They did this one right. We unboxed this. We looked at this. They did this one right. Red pull tab. You feel me? Everything true to spec, true to the OGs, 93. You feel me? And forever. Now. The fact that Jordan wore these when he was giving out good work, the fact that they hit you with the OG box, the fact that they hit you with the OG shoe, that makes things a little bit more complicated. Where is that on here? That makes things a little more complicated because now this is the question you have to ask yourself. Is Nike going to do this again? Are they going to hit you with this shoe again with the red pull tab, with the OG box, with the OG everything? You might not be a stickler for that. For me, that's pretty important to me. Now, if I was going to pay resale, that would make my decision a little harder. But I had to exercise some of my P's. I missed on the shock drop on this. I missed on the official release. Hibbit had a restock. I was able to purchase. They canceled your boy's order. So at that point, I was just going to take my L. But then Nike had another restock. Came through. So... You know, I, that's where I have to applaud Nike that they are giving you multiple opportunities to obtain these shoes, which is why I think resale is fading out again. And I, I can't take the credit for that observation. My boy, 
that I interviewed. We, I'm, I'm, I'm going to put that video out once I finish editing it. But he, he made the comment that Nike is working to flip the resale game on his head. I don't know if they're ever going to be able to eradicate it. We're going to see what happens with that 17 release because I, I definitely think that's going to put the game in a different direction. But I got to give Nike their props. They're giving you multiple opportunities. That's why I think with these gratitudes, you're going to get at least another, you know, um, restock in order for you to um, to make your purchase. Now, we all know when sneakers are saying we verify submissions and removing bots because I'm trying to get them Kobe's on Friday. And I pretty much know the likelihood of me taking an L is probably high because I haven't ever hit on no Kobe's. You feel me? But I'm going to still join. I'm going to still exercise one of my P's. You feel me? And be persistent. But again, I'm going to give Nike some credit, which is why I can't advocate for resale. Because if Nike's going to keep giving you opportunities, you just got to take as many swings at the bat as you can. You know, if you get four, four opportunities to bat in a game, that's enough opportunities to get on base. You feel me? All right, we got two more. Now, as of right before I did this video, there were a couple of sizes of this shoe available on Foot Locker. Now, of course, if you size 12 or size 13 or something, they probably are not there. And the shoe that we're talking about, we're talking about the uh, Cherry I'm about the Cherry 12s. I'm trying to pull them up to see if they're still in stock. But we're talking about the Cherry 12s. Let's see if we can run the footlock and see if they're still in stock. Size 9. So add the cart. Yeah, so it's in the cart. Feel me? So that's where your patience has to come in. You know, if you're size 8, size 9, go ahead and do your thing. They, they work for their 210. You size 8, size 9. Go ahead and handle that. Right? But again, another OG release. Everything is true to how it would have looked in 97. Full strength worthy. Is it worth resale? Again, like I say, you got to ask yourself. We getting what? 97, that was 20 years ago. So what was that? 20, 26 years ago. You know, we're getting further and further away from when these shoes originally came out. And, you know, Nike could say, you know what, we're putting this stuff back in the vault and it ain't coming back out. The likelihood of that is probably low, but there's still a chance because we know what they did in the 2000s. They was giving you, you know, I don't want to say half ass, but they was giving you they was giving you subtle changes to make the shoe different from the original. So that's what when you factor in resale or should you pay resale? That's the, that's the question you have to ask yourself. Last but not least, we got the playoff 13s, which is why when we looked at them Flint, them black Flints, I mean, it's not even a debate, man. Like these are crushing them to me. These are crushing them. Clean. They did it right, everything. Again, true true to the OG, true to spec. Jordan was giving out work in the playoffs in these. You know, these made a couple of appearances in the last dance. So, is it worth the full strength at retail? Yeah. I don't know how many times they're going to restock these. I, I can't recall how many times that they did restock them. But, you know, of the OG list that we did, the four shoes, um, I would say three of the four, everything except them UNC twos. I would say the playoff eights, the playoff 13s, the cherry 12s. If you had to pay a sleep tax, you know, those three are probably worth it. But other than that, you know, try to stay true to your P's. And, uh, you know, if you took a loss, we all take them. But that'll do it for this episode of The Full Strength. Apologize for the length of the video. Again, appreciate all y'all liking and commenting. You feel me? Shout out to, you know, everyone that subscribed. Really appreciate y'all. If you attempting to get those Kobe's on Friday, 
good luck in advance. Uh, if you're still waiting to try to catch your gratitudes, you know, good luck. I think you're going to get a, another couple of chances. But, um, yeah, we will be back with another one at some point. And uh, hope you all enjoy the rest of your night and uh, your uh, upcoming weekend. We'll, we'll uh, catch you all on the next one. So I had to patch in one time real quick uh, in the post-production, and I found that video of him wearing them shoes in that, I think it was an alumni game or something. Uh, and I, you know, the clip where he, I mean, he takes off from like a foot in front of the free throw line. He's taking off from the first half. And there's three people in there. You feel me? That was the first time I had seen that. And when he took off, I thought he was about to yam it on them boys. Right. But, you know, he, he, he still finished it and laid it up. And that's what people don't understand is that that's what made these shoes, do, like, you know, 30, 40 years later, the fact that people still going crazy over these shoes. Little highlights like that is why, because you hadn't seen nothing like that before. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm probably two, three years old, so I, obviously I didn't see that live. But even by the time the early 90s came around and some of the stuff he was doing, you hadn't really seen that before. And I'm sure cats could do it. Because if y'all don't know who Erdogan Go Manigo was, they say he could touch the top of the backboard, take a dollar off the top of the backboard, and put four quarters at the top of the backboard. That's how high he was jumping. So it was cats that could jump high for a long time. But I don't think the GOAT, or that's where the name came from, but I don't think Manigo made it to the NBA. So anyway, you had cats, uh, Pee Wee, Pee Wee uh, Kirkland. They say he was the truth. I think he played in the 60s or 70s. So you had a lot of cats. But anyway, because th this ain't really no long amendment, I, I, I had to th these. I had to just look them up just off, just off the strength of that. Man, you can get these for less than retail. So resale ain't even really coming into play. I mean, one sixty two is is twelve dollars more. Yeah, you can run that. What's that size fourteen? Yeah, you can run that. You feel me? One ninety six. That's that's getting a little three fifty seven. No, not not three fifty seven. But yeah, th this is we can add this to the OG. That's an excellent excellent value. This is. I mean, I might have to scoop another pair. So anyway, man, I had to. I had to. I mean, when I seen that, I. Because if you watch basketball now, and sometimes I just watch old games on YouTube, but when Cass is coming down the lane, it ain't three people waiting there for him no more. You feel me? It ain't three people there waiting because the game is so spaced out now. Anyway, man, that'll do it. This this is really the end of the episode, full strength. Appreciate y'all. Shout out to all of y'all. You feel me? And we'll catch y'all on the next one.